Hi, this is Rick Morgan. And this is Nolan Morgan. And we're doing a Father's Day special today. We're doing a father-son uh, comic book uh, treatment today. I'll call it a treatment of yeah. Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 21, which is the sort of famous marriage of um, Peter and Mary Jane. And it had a fantastic cover. I absolutely love the cover. Made by... John Romita Sr. John Romita Sr., who is our favorite comic book artist. And we wanted to remove a spine take. It looks like it's a kind of a big spine take in this book. It looks like one of the ones when you pull a comic book for when you're pulling them out of a box. It was kind of a monster. And we actually don't know how it's going to turn out yet. But we're going to use this new uh, tacking iron tool here to treat it and that we sell in our store. And Nolan, tell them, tell them how we did it. All right. So first of all, we need a pre-tacking iron because, of course, it needs to be hot for about 20 minutes. What the area with DI water, place a ticket tech under the cover of the book, place a sh silicone sheet on the top of the book over the cover, and then treat the area with figure eight pattern of the tacking iron. And then press it as usual with a chamfer pressing board using the press over there. That's it. And then uh, we're going we're gonna to do that in a minute. father-son power and we're going to uh we'll see how it works out okay buddy all right all right see you guys in a little bit see ya bye bye all right so we're going to focus on this area right here so what we're going to do is the tools we're going to use are our uh, tick attack board which has this chamfered edge to it right here cut out in case we run out of staples we're going to use over here show our um our tacking iron and we're going to use some of this strip of this silicone paper and I have a little bit of, of water here I'm just going to go ahead and roll a tiny bit of water on this area just to keep it slightly moist I'm going to dab a little more it's just the tiniest bit wet on here I'm going to just get that a little wet now I'm going to take my this guy the tick attack board Watch your hand, you're going to burn them on that thing, so if you're not careful. You know. Okay, so we're going to just put this sort of top edge of this tick attack board right here. And I'm going to lay this guy here to protect it. I'm going to take, this has been preheating about 20 minutes. This is the uh, spine tick tool here, tacking iron. And I'm going to just take this guy and I'm going to just rub it sort of right on this area where it needs it right there. So I'm um, going to just rub that around here. And it gets pretty warm, so you have to be kind of careful. But just going to hold this and then just kind of rub it around a circle like a figure eight pattern a little bit. See what it looks like. There, oh, it's already coming out a little bit. So kind of rub that, it should be flatter. Yep, it's flatter. Gee, that didn't take long. And just gonna do this again. It can get pretty hot, so I have to be really careful not to touch the metal. And it should be enough. I do this a couple times. Yeah, it's coming out actually quite nicely. And then all we're gonna just let this sit here. I'm gonna let it rest just a moment. There, I'm gonna get this look for spots here. I'm gonna get this one little edge right on the very end there. Into the shiny part down here. I'm gonna kind of. Uh, Grab just this back part here with this. I'm kind of trying to do a figure eight shape. You see how I'm doing a figure eight? I'm trying not to do the same back and forth motion as it leaves a little mark on there. And then let's see if that helps. Oh, yeah, that helped quite a bit. Okay. So let's um, pause the video and we'll do a little pressing here. All right, so I'm gonna press the book. This is This is a bottom aluminum plate. This is a 12 by 15 plate. It's got a little Teflon sheet here just to keep it from scratching. This has been preheated to 166 degrees. I'm going to lay a sheet of silicone paper on top. Then I'm going to put my book on. I don't have anything under the back. I didn't put the spine looks pretty good, so I'm not putting anything back there. I'm going to lay the book on top of this sheet like this. And then I'm going to put another sheet on top. Of it. Oh, sorry. Inside the book, I have a chamfered pressing board. It's a Silver Age pressing board here. So this board looks like this. For those who haven't seen it, it's kind of rounded on the edge. So I'm gonna tuck that under here, nice and tight. And then we are going to 
put another sheet of the silicone paper on top of the book to protect it. And then we're going to take another piece of this 90 thousandths uh, 6061 aluminum. We're going to place this on top of the entire sandwich here. Then I'm going to take this straight down. I'm going to swing the top of the press back around and to about, I'm going to tighten it to about 50 pounds of pressure. I know that feels like, and I am still somehow working on a gauge to measure that, but we're going to just go ahead and press that down like, like there. This ever is going to start dropping in a moment because it's going to be it's the aluminum is a heat sink. You'll see that come down in just a moment. And then it will return. So there it goes. See, it dropped quite a bit. As the aluminum, it's getting, it's already hot in the bottom of the book. That's been pre-charged with some temperature, but the top has not. So it's going to come to temperature pretty quickly. And the whole thing will be at equilibrium soon. And pretty soon, in just a few seconds, it's going to go up. There it goes. It'll go back up to 166, and when it does, we'll start our timer to hold it there for 600 seconds, and then we're going to let it come to, we're going to turn off the temperature and let it come to ambient temperature, which will take about 45 minutes, and then we'll cold press the book under a cold press for three to five days to make sure those things don't come back. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and start this timer. It's going to be in 600 seconds. We will turn it off and let it come to ambient temperature. Take about 45 minutes. All right, so we've waited the appropriate amount of time for the it to return to ambient temperature. So let's go ahead and lift this metal sheet up and give it a second to make sure nothing's sticking. And it's not, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then we'll take a look at our book here. Take a picture under that light. Nolan, you see it there? There's a little bit of a little tick there that we can, we'll have to work out later. See that? But we're gonna go ahead and just cold press the board for about three to five days for a quick, fast cold press under a cold pressing board just to make sure that it doesn't revert. And then later on, I'll work on that because I wanna see how big the, the three to five day look is. And then we'll come back and see how it is. What do you think? What do you think, Nolan? What are your thoughts? Um... Okay, well, we are done now, and it looks uh, better, I think. What do you think, Nolan? How much better do you think it looks? I think, I mean, I don't think that, I can't really even see it in the after image, really. Yeah, there's a little tiny spot in there that we could probably still get out. I'm going to cold press it for about three days, and then if nothing returns, I'm going to go back in and get that little tiny dip out of there. There's a tiny spot. But overall, it was pretty easy to do. It took just a moment of our time. You know, it, it went pretty well. It was pretty easy. This book, I didn't use a ton of silicone paper on the inside of the sheets because it was a newer book, and I didn't think it was going to stick to the uh, chamfered pressing board. And what do you think, Nolan? Is this a good method? How can we improve, or do you think it's okay the way it is? Yeah, I mean, I can't even really see in the after picture, I think. I mean, I just think it looks perfect in my eyes. Yeah, it's okay, right? Did you learn anything today? Do you think you can do this by yourself, or do you need me to help you in the future? Um, I think I did it by myself. I mean, yeah, he's doing okay. He's a good, he's a good kid. He's gonna be good at it. So, yeah, you know, this is a, a pretty easy thing to do, and uh, if you have the right equipment, it's it's easy to do. You can also look in the description before we'll have down below. We'll have links to the products that we sell to help you do it, and we hope this video helped you out. And of course, we saved a great book that I've had since I was a teenager and got to work with my son. So it's all right. Right, Nolan? Yeah. See you guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.